all doing ulishani my zambian people welcome all to my channel if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for returning back here thank you for your love thank you for your support i really appreciate much but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe please please click on that notification bell you will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you'll always enjoy every content that i upload in this channel so dear beautiful friends in our today's video we are going to be having a very juicy beautiful online dating success love story of a Zambian lady by the name of Zenzo, 20 years of age, who found love on online dating apps with a German guy. His name is Jens, 35 years old. You will enjoy this story. It is going to inspire you very, very much and you will learn a lot of things. Without forgetting, I'm going to be sharing with you the name of that free online dating app where they met. Plus guys, I have something very special for you, something that I've never done in the story times that I've shared before. I got a chance to ask Jens questions. He answered very, very well. And through his answers, you are going to learn something very, very important today. So guys, without wasting much of your time, let us jump into this beautiful love story. So dear friends, I know you always ask yourself these curious questions when you hear someone phone love on online dating apps. And I know with Zenzo, you are asking yourself these curious questions right now, which are, what was her love life before joining online dating apps? What pushed her to join online dating apps? Who told her about online dating apps? What was her experience on online dating apps? How was that first message from the one, how things went after finding the one. I am here to answer you all those questions in her story, but I'm going to be starting with her past love relationship experience. How was it like before joining online dating apps? Was she dating a Zambian guy? And if yes, let us know. Let us dig deeper. <laughs> Zenzo tells us her past love relationship experience wasn't a good one at all. Yes, she was in a love relationship with a Zambian guy on and off. And it went a time where this guy started disappearing for weeks. Whenever Zenzo could write to this guy to ask him, what's up? Why have you disappeared? This guy could be like, I am very, very busy. It continued like that. Zenzo got so tired, frustrated, believed that for a lady to be in a relationship in Zambia, you need to be very, very beautiful. This really touched my heart, guys. Cause the things men do to us can put our self-esteem very, very low. Cause this lady's self-esteem to date a Zambian guy again was very, very low. Cause the experience she went through made her feel like she is ugly, which is not true at all. She is such a very beautiful lady. And I also thank God she got a guy that really adores her. So after Zenzo being disappointed in dating a Zambian guy, decided to go on Play Store and started searching for dating apps. Nobody told her about online dating apps. She just searched on Play Store and then came up that dating app. The same same app that came up is the same app where she found the one. I'm going to be sharing the name of that dating app before I end this video. So make sure you watch the video till the end, please. But guys, before we go to our online dating experience, I want to advise you something. Whether you are dating a guy on online dating apps or even in real life, a guy doesn't have to tell you that I don't want you, but his actions, guys. If you see a guy is getting busy every day, not to talk to you, not to send you messages, that means that guy does not think of you and he doesn't want you 
in his life you don't mean anything in his life so instead of sticking to that guy all the time trying to send him messages or call him where he will call you after three or four days better move on we see zenzo got tired and decided to go on online dating apps and search for love see what happened she found the one and she is now married what if she stick to that zambian guy that wasn't giving her time that was so busy all the time and ghosting her she could have wasted her precious time so let's learn from this and stop wasting our time on men who don't want us because most men don't have the courage to utter it to you that i don't want you but his actions girl <laughs> if you watch them very close they will tell you run <laughs> stop wasting your time so to her online dating experience it was in 2022 june when she joined that dating app and immediately after joining started getting messages tells us it wasn't easy yes she was there for a very short period of time but it wasn't easy. What does this tell us? You ladies that have been complaining that online dating apps is so difficult. Online dating apps is not easy. Guys, I understand. It's never easy. Even ladies who found love on online dating apps, they tell you it's not easy. So don't be discouraged. Just keep moving forward. No matter the challenges, no matter it's not easy. So Zenzo tells us it wasn't easy at all. And I asked her, what are those funny moments on online dating apps that she can remember? So to have funny moments on online dating apps tells us one day I was chatting with a guy from Italy, my brother-in-law, <laughs> and this guy from nowhere, without knowing Zenzo, without knowing anything about Zenzo, he was like, I want to marry you. <laughs> So this was so strange to Zenzo. Actually, she's a very smart girl. <laughs> was like, how can you marry me without even knowing me? But if it was someone else, you are new to online dating apps and then you get a message from this Italian guy. He tells you, I want to marry you. You start believing, <laughs> but never fall into that trap. Oh, these days exist guys. You chat just a bit. You don't know each other well. You don't know each other well he's like can you come to visit me <laughs> guys it's not true even if you accept you'll keep on chatting with this guy and then when the time comes for him to send you the documents he's gonna disappear <laughs> <laughs> so never fall into their traps you are chatting with a guy online get to know each other well and when you start to see the actions that's the time to start believing in him and you start attaching yourself little by little <laughs> but without that never believe them <laughs> <laughs> so Zenzo did not believe in this Italian guy that wanted to marry her without even knowing her. It was something strange and funny to her at the same time. Something I can say about Zenzo's experience on online dating apps, she's such a lucky lady because only after one week she found the one. Yes, guys. So let's get to know how did it happen <laughs> so dear friends in a week zenzo being on online dating apps received a message from this cute german guy his name is jens 35 years old his first message was like hello <laughs> then she responded and they started exchanging messages jens asked for her photos which she sent and he was like you are so beautiful also he sent his photos to Zenzo. Zenzo looked at them and was like, he is very, very cute. So they liked each other and decided to move to Telegram. When they went to Telegram, they chatted for like an hour. Then Zenzo asked for his WhatsApp number. I've told you Zenzo is such a smart lady. Why am I saying she is smart? Her asking for WhatsApp number, it was a smart thing to do. Because these guys on online dating apps, you find he's telling you, we have to use only Skype. We have to use only Telegram. We have to only use Google Chat, but never WhatsApp. When you ask them, 
why not whatsapp they will tell you my phone doesn't support whatsapp they'll give you million reasons of not having whatsapp but the truth is i have told you already for someone to use skype you have to log in it is difficult if that guy is married for his wife to have his password and log in into skype but with whatsapp when messages comes it is easy for a wife to find out he can't hide a lot the wife will be like why are you hiding <laughs> so that is why most of them don't want to use whatsapp they will tell you their phones don't support whatsapp so no matter a guy tells you let's use skype let us use telegram it's okay but also give me your whatsapp numbers this is very very important dear beautiful ladies if you don't want to waste your time on online dating apps so after asking for his whatsapp numbers he sent his whatsapp numbers and what zenzo did went on google to check very well if that number is a german number again that was a smart thing girl we should always confirm i remember one time i was chatting with a lady whom i was helping on online dating apps she told me I was chatting with a guy and this guy told her he lives in germany so i told her ask this guy which part of germany does he live because i have friends in germany i may not know all places in germany but i can ask my friends or i can just go on google and google the name of the place where that guy lives in germany to confirm if it's true that guy is from germany so the lady went and asked the guy which city do you live in germany you will be surprised the answer of this guy <laughs> He was like he lives in Germany the city is called Macarena Bangladesh <laughs> You know these men on online dating apps they can make us look so stupid <laughs> So I told the lady I may not know Germany but that guy is lying to you. I've never heard of a city called Macarena Bangladesh in Germany. <laughs> He is not coming from Germany. So guys, it is good for you to confirm the information this man on online dating apps gives you. Another girl was chatting with a guy and then when she told me the name of the guy, I was like, but that name is not an Norwegian name. That guy is not from Norway. <laughs> that guy's name seems like someone from Morocco. <laughs> <laughs> How can he say that he is Norwegian? He better tell you the truth, his origin. <laughs> There is no problem in you knowing his origin. <laughs> so she asked and the guy was like, "Oh yes, I come from Morocco." <laughs> So let's be careful guys and let's be smart. <laughs> so guys, Zenzo confirmed that that WhatsApp number that Jens gave was a German number. The next thing she did was to call this guy on a voice call to hear his voice, hear his accent because exist lots of guys on online dating apps who will fake the accent. <laughs> <laughs> you find he's a black guy, he is a scammer, wants to scam you by listening to his voice. You will know. We know each other, guys. <laughs> We speak English, yes, but our accents <laughs> will tell you where someone is coming from. I remember my friend got scammed on Tinder by the guy who claimed to come from Switzerland, but they never talked on a voice call. If she had called that guy on a voice call, could have discovered that the guy was just a scammer, not someone from Switzerland. So Zenzo was very smart to call Jess to hear his accent. And yes, he called him on a voice call. They talked, she was so happy. Tells us his voice was so so sweet. <laughs> so their first voice call lasted for two hours and later on they decided to call on a video call so that they can see each other. They were happy with each other, the way they looked. Jens couldn't stop telling her how beautiful she was. Oh my god, <laughs> when love is in the air. <laughs> Jens was very happy, very excited to talk with Jens. <laughs> she told me, Bella, I couldn't believe it. I'm on a phone call with the Muzungu. <laughs> 
so for her it was a new experience and a very exciting experience <laughs> she's such a funny lady <laughs> so after talking for three hours on a video call when it ended Zenzo was like okay maybe he's not gonna call me tomorrow it's gonna end here but she was wrong because the next day Jens called her and they kept on talking getting to know each other every single day so friends after chatting for some weeks Jens took the next step introduced Zenzo to his mother so told Zenzo, I've talked to my mom about you and she can't wait to see you. And then one day they were on a video call talking. Then Jensie's mother came to greet her. Oh my God, she was very, very happy. And Jensie's mother told her, you are so pretty. You are so beautiful. I can't wait to see you. She said, thank you. And was like, I'm shy now. <laughs> but Zenzo was super, super happy that Jens has introduced her to his mother. So friends, cause now James has introduced Zenzo to his mother, they started making video calls, three of them. James, his mother and Zenzo could talk, could laugh, joke. Even James's father could hear them always talking, laughing. And he was like, why can't you show me that African lady that is dating my son? I want to see her. <laughs> why am i left out so zenzo tells us one day they were on a video call talking laughing and then jensie's father came in oh my god <laughs> first of all she was so scared and very very happy so she started running around the house oh my god oh my god oh my god then jensie's father was like do i look scary <laughs> <laughs> Why are you shouting? Oh my god! <laughs> so Zenzo eventually talked to the father in law, was so so happy, tells us that day felt like a princess because no man has ever introduced her to his parents. So she felt very very special felt very very good and with this guys i've been telling you if a guy doesn't have anything to hide from you he will come out clear he will introduce you to his parents if he has got parents he will introduce you to his friends everyone in fact he will want to tell the whole world if it is possible how he is so much in love with you so stop listening to those guys who gives you excuses of not introducing you to his family to his friends and everyone who is close to him never fall for that trap and keep chatting with a guy like that he should introduce you he should come out clean yes <laughs> so friends the relationship kept on growing stronger and now it was one month of them chatting remember they started chatting june 2022 and now it was july 2022 when they started talking about meeting each other and jesse's idea asked her can you come to germany to visit me for the first time then zenzo started laughing thought he was joking was like i don't have a passport and i don't know how to go about getting a visa i'm telling you guys james is such a good guy i don't know he went and googled how to get a passport in zambia and then gave the information to zenzo told her go to lusaka and apply for your passport so guys zenzo tells us from where she lives she lives in nakonde to lusaka it is 16 hours in the bus to arrive there so just sent her the money for the passport application sent her the money for the transport from nakonde to lusaka and because after that they were supposed to start preparing for the visa sent her the money for the visa guys jens is a good example of a man who knows what he wants when he goes on online dating apps he went on online dating apps found the one and started doing the actions he did not waste no time wanted to see zenzo as soon as possible because guys when you're chatting on online dating apps if you meet that's when your relationship 
becomes the real one i told you guys mr i am saving stay away from them the guy goes on online dating apps but he knows he can't afford a ticket to come to see you he knows he can't afford to pay for the ticket for you to go to his country visit him for the first time what is he doing on online dating apps chatting with a lady who is in africa in another continent it doesn't make sense at all so stay away from such kind of guys and i am so happy we have got an example of the guys i've been telling you a serious man who really wants a serious relationship so friends zenzo traveled from nakonde to lusaka applied for her passport and then eventually got her passport after getting her passport that is when they started preparing for the visa for her to go to germany visit jens for the first time so they prepared all the documents and when everything was ready she booked for an appointment to go to the embassy the appointment was supposed to be on monday monday came she went to the embassy tells us was very very scared because for her it was a new experience i can relate guys <laughs> for me i did not sleep well that night when i was going to the embassy it was a new experience for me so i could think the whole night how is it going to be i was super super scared <laughs> I was super super scared just like Zenzo. So she went to the German embassy in Lusaka and they welcomed her very well, took her fingerprints. Yes, she was super scared. And after taking her fingerprints, they told her they will call. So she left the embassy and was waiting for her visa to come out. But at the same time, she wasn't convinced all that much that she will get the visa cause it was her first time. <laughs> so guys, as now that Zenzo is waiting for her visa to come out, <laughs> I know you're asking yourself a question. But Bella, you told us Jens introduced Zenzo to his family. <laughs> How about Zenzo? She introduced Jens to the family. Yes, guys, after Jens introduced her to his family, she had to introduce him to to the mother. Though she was scared, the mother won't allow it. But luckily, the mother was happy, also said, can't wait to meet Jens in person. So guys, don't allow these men on online dating apps who pressure you to introduce them to your family without them introducing you to their family. He should introduce you to his family. If he does that, yes, go with the flow. Introduce him to to your family so guys let's go to her visa <laughs> she's waiting for her visa to come out <laughs> so monday passed tuesday passed and then on wednesday got an email that she should go to the embassy for her visa issue so went to the embassy and when she arrived they told her your visa got denied she was like cool you know wanted to act cool but deep inside was really really hurting so she left and when she arrived at the gate those security men were telling her you know these days they don't give out the visa trying to be sorry for her i remember too when i was denied the visa those security men really encouraged me they were like don't worry as long as you don't have any criminal case you are not a criminal you will get the visa so you can still reapply <laughs> for the visa so guys when zenzo left the embassy area had to call Jens and give him the bad news that she got denied the visa. When she called, even the parents were there. When they heard she was denied the visa, they were like, wow, that was so fast. But with Jens, he was freaking out, telling her, why? Why did they deny you the visa? Whom did you talk to? I talked to one black guy and a white woman. They are the ones who denied me the visa. So he was like, no, go back. I want to talk to them. Why deny you the visa? So Zenzo was tired and told him, I am so tired. I'm not going to go back. He understood and she went back home very very sad so friends before i continue with the story it is good for you guys to know how i came to know zenzo because that is where our story is coming from so zenzo found me on youtube at the time when she was preparing to apply for her schengen visa to germany watched the video of mine talking about schengen visa and after watching that video watched another one and another one she was like wow i really like her video 
tells us she could sit down with a paper and a pen write down everything that i could talk about in my videos and one of the videos she mentioned was a video where i talked of how to know if a guy is seriously looking for love on online dating apps so she could tick this one tick this one tick this one okay you know compare with her relationship with the way jens is treating her and the way he behaves so eventually after finishing the video she was like i think he is is the one i think he is serious and told me last time bella that video really helped me so much to know if james was serious or not <laughs> so after watching my videos she commented down and asked for my instagram account name i gave it to her then she came on instagram so after coming to instagram she wrote to me that she is in a relationship with a german guy and everything is going super super good he has invited her then when she applied for the visa she did not get the visa also told me about it and again returned to ask me for an address advice on behalf of her friend who was chatting with a guy but the guy never wanted to talk on a video call i told her that guy is lying your friend so what she did talk to the friend that i've talked to bella bella said this and also shared the links of my videos to the friend which she watched and kept on watching also left that guy that was wasting her time so after that she kept on updating me from time to time how her relationship is going so let's continue <laughs> after the visa denial what happened next so after the visa being denied after talking to jens and the parents really encouraged them they were like don't worry you can still reapply again but what jens decided to do told her that let's cancel everything of you coming here i will be the one to come to zambia and then after me coming to zambia we are going to apply again for your visa to come here guys this is what i have been telling you not a guy who tells you no i cannot invite you because you getting a visa to my country it's not possible it's very difficult hello at least give it a try if i get denied then we check other options at least show me that you want to put some efforts at least show me that you are ready for me to come visit you in your country so guys just started planning his trip to zambia to meet the love of his life <laughs> zenzo oh my god love is so so beautiful and to you who are interested to know if james was spoiling zenzo in the long distance relationship the answer is yes he was spoiling her so much sending her gifts but tells us never asked him for money he could send her money yes could send her gifts but never asked I told you if a man truly loves you you don't need to ask for money you don't need to ask for things he just do them spontaneously <laughs> so friends i want to take you a little bit back the first time when james invited zenzo to germany he was still living with his parents as he kept on chatting with zenzo he decided to look for his own apartment something that is very very positive zenzo has changed jens into a positive way i told you guys you are chatting with a guy not always you are nagging not always you are asking money you are emptying this guy's bank account he is not growing the guy is not gonna marry you yes you will get his money yes you will chat for a while but eventually he will leave you so let's learn from this something else that i think it is good we talk about it before james goes to zambia it's about sex talk where these people sex talking on the phone <laughs> before meeting in their long distance relationship because some guys will tell you yes for a relationship to work we have to sex talk <laughs> so were they sex talking zenzo told me yes they could sex talk but in a normal way not like send me your nude photos or i want us to do online sex they have never done that james has never asked something like that 
from Zenzo because he is a good guy why a rush if he has got good plans with her he will be with her why start requesting weird things like online sex there is no need so a serious guy I repeat will never ask you for nude photos will never ask you for online sex period <laughs> so guys back to his plans to go to zambia meet the love of his life zenzo for that first time days were approaching zenzo was so excited just planned to stay in zambia for one month and his trip was december 2022 after six months of chatting on online dating apps so friends before we go to that exciting moment when james went to zambia i have a tip here if you're chatting with someone on online dating apps please please no matter how your conversation is going very well in the right direction please please talk about how you guys are going to meet never chat with a guy for the whole year without talking about how you guys are going to meet never accept to chat for so long with a guy on online dating apps because he's gonna tell you i'm going to meet you after one year one year is too long because in the middle of that one year something is going to happen your relationship will end so always chat with the guy for three months and then talk on how you guys are going to meet at least within six months if he tells you after one year he should give you a very important reason to why he can't meet you soon it's important guys because you chat and chat and chat get bored eventually the relationship faints so guys the day for james to go to zambia came oh my god if you follow me on instagram you are going to remember this post i'll put it here or here <laughs> she was so excited very scared <laughs> of meeting james for the first time i was like oh my god I'm going to meet my muzungu boyfriend <laughs> when i posted that even some people laughed about it they wrote to me were like tell her to calm down a muzungu is just a human being <laughs> just like her she shouldn't worry everything is going to go fine but that was to show you how excited she was to show you that online dating works so after writing to me i talked to her i was like don't worry all will be fine and when he arrives please send me some photos so that i can see the two of you so guys james was arriving in zambia lusaka december 2022 and it was on monday so zenzo tells us had to travel with a bus for 16 hours from nakonde to lusaka so that i can be with james when he arrives so she arrived in lusaka and on sunday went did her hair you know look good oh my god her hairstyle was so so beautiful you will see it guys with the photos that i'm going to be sharing with you in a minute <laughs> yeah so she was looking very very beautiful and then the day she was waiting for came <laughs> so we have a little bit of afro cinema here she started preparing herself that Monday to go to the airport to an extent she became late took a taxi and while she was in a taxi received a call from Jess telling her that I have arrived already in Zambia I am at the airport told her where to find him oh my god she was super super happy <laughs> so, so guys zenzo arrived at the airport the african time <laughs> you know we are always one hour late two hours late <laughs> the african time guys yeah so when she arrived at the airport saw jens and for her she thought jens was short but surprisingly she was the shorter one so when she saw him oh my god started shaking started sweating her hands <laughs> couldn't believe it 
she had to run tells us they hugged for one hour oh my god what a hug <laughs> They were really, really happy to see each other. So guys, from the airport, they had to go to the hotel where James had booked. And after arriving at the hotel, they had to hug again. Oh my God, Zenzo was so, so excited and everything was new. You know, while hugging him, looked at him, was like, oh my God, I'm hugging him with Sungu. <laughs> he has tattoos because his one arm is full of tattoos. So she was like, oh my God, he has got lots of tattoos. <laughs> This lady is really, really funny, guys. <laughs> but yeah, they were very happy and so much in love. I know right now you are thinking of the goodies. <laughs> not yet, guys. She did not share the goodies. And we have Afro Cinema. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so as they were there at the hotel zenzo's mother called and when she called was like zenzo you have to come back home don't think you're going to spend a night there with that guy because you have not yet introduced him to the family <laughs> <laughs> oh my god james was kind upset was like i booked for this hotel for the two of us so that you can spend a night together and then they're coming up with you going to your grandma's place spend a night there i don't understand eventually he was like yes i am very tired but let's go to your grandma's place introduce myself so that they know you are with me so that we can come back together to the hotel and that's how how it happened she tells us they arrived really late but they were waiting for them everyone was happy to see him tells us jeans is such kind of a guy who is always wearing his smile so they were so happy to see him smiling he even ate their traditional meal which is in shima <laughs> he ate the whole of it the family was so happy they were like wow but what i can say Thank you to Jensie's mother. She raised him in a very good way. What Zenzo's family saw in Jens, it showed that his mother brought him up very, very well. Zenzo's family really liked Jens and they told Zenzo, we really like him. He's such a good guy. So after eating, they also talked about the lobola, which is very, very important, the bride price. So they had to set the day for the bride price which was on Friday that week. So with this, I asked Zenzo, cause I've been hearing lots of ladies coming to me to ask me, Bella, my man doesn't want to pay for the bride price. He says it's not their culture. So I asked her, didn't he say that? She was like, yes, at first he was like, oh, it's like I'm buying you, what's that? <laughs> but later on, he understood after telling him, it's our culture and traditions. I was like okay i am going to pay because i love you and i respect your culture and traditions that's a good man that's a serious man <laughs> yes guys so after setting the day for the bride price and everything they had to return to their hotel and i know now this is the right time to talk of the goodies <laughs> did she give her goodies that first night yes she shared the goodies and it was great <laughs> yeah so now you have the answer if you wanted to know so friends zenzo tells us on tuesday jens took her to buy a ring for her an engagement ring tells us it wasn't a surprise they went together he bought her a very beautiful expensive ring that when she shared the price of the ring the mother was very very surprised was like what <laughs> yeah but you know with love a man doesn't look into money how much he has spent on something what matters to him is the love that he feels for you so after the engagement ring Friday came, it was the day for the bride price. He paid everything. And then after there, they were married traditionally. Congratulations to you, Zenzo and Jens. So guys, after getting married traditionally, they had to go to Livingstone, spend some days there, you know, together, crazily in love, 
she was like two kids in love they really enjoyed time together i'm gonna be sharing some photos here or here of them in livingstone so after spending some days in livingstone they had to go to her mother's place and stay there she really enjoyed every moment with him tells us he's such a good guy he could help around the house with house chores like washing dishes something that really surprised her but made her fall in love with him more and more so while at her mother's place that's when james had to call his elder sister so that she can talk to zenzo so according to zenzo what she told me about her sister-in-law she said she's such a loving lady but a protective sister because at first due to that she's so protective to the brother they did not share with her immediately about zenzo but when james was traveling to zambia he had to tell her and she was like okay so when he was in zambia at zenzo's mother's place that's when he called the sister so that zenzo can talk to the sister-in-law they talked she was like hello how are you you're so beautiful you know like that i can't wait to see you and also said congratulations for their marriage so guys all i can say is that zenzo is very blessed to find herself in jesse's family and all thanks to god because it's such a loving family those as they love her and they have accepted her just like their own daughter which is so good and amazing to hear so guys after jen staying three weeks in zambia they decided to get married legally so it was a court wedding but james's parents were not there and they were so so sad not to be there but they talked and they were like they're going to do another wedding when zenzo goes to germany so congratulations again zenzo and james for your legal wedding i wish you all the best in your marriage so one month stay in zambia came to an end james was supposed to return to germany it was such a sad day but they had to say goodbye they both cried at the airport hugged so tightly you will see the photos here or here of them hugging at the airport saying goodbyes so now let's know their next plan they've got married what's next right now zenzo in a german school in zambia learning german and then after that is going to apply for her visa march this year to go to germany join her husband start their little beautiful family so guys with her advice i'm going to be putting it here or here so that you can read it yourself and take that advice because it's going to help you in your search for the right man so guys remember i told you when i started this video that i've got something very special for you guys <laughs> james gave me the chance to ask him questions so i asked him this important question which is what made him write to zenzo and what made him get married to her so guys i'm not going to talk i want to you to listen to james himself what he said about this you will learn a lot from his response as a woman we need to know now why men marry <laughs> let's learn something guys I fell in love with you. The first time I saw you on the picture, I thought like, oh my God, she's so cute. And then we talk with each other day for day. And I uh, heard your cute voice and it was nice to talk to you. And you always give me attention and you'd be so lovely. Wow. Show me so much love. And you was there all the time. Like we were so far from each other, but you was there all the time talking with me, showing me love, you showed me that I can trust in you, that you be loyal no matter what. And I don't have to worry about some things and you be so caring. You always take care about me and how I feel. And you be so understanding when I have worries or something. Like you listen to me and try to understand me you never be really mad at me i always wish for a woman that really loves me and i can trust and then i find that in you and that's why i married you you're also the most beautiful and most stunning woman i ever saw like 
the first time I saw you, I was blown away. At, it's still like that. Just be wonderful and the prettiest woman I ever can dream about uh, for me. And you might make me more than happy. Any kind of way, you'd be just, you'd be just perfect. And I love you. Wow, that's really beautiful. So he also added something. Why I love you also is all the things that you did for me that we can be together like getting your passport i know it was not easy it was not easy for you you have to travel a lot and you were stressed and we both were stressed you always was there to build me up and give me strange and i tried my best to do the same for you and i just be thankful and i'd be happy i don't know how i can thank you for all things that you did for me that's why i love you as well and i never will forget that wow <laughs> that is so sweet oh my god this girl is so blessed when i listened to this i was like girl you are blessed it's so so beautiful it really feels so good to hear your man talking to you like that <laughs> telling you those beautiful words <laughs> now we have listened to jens zenzo too has got a very beautiful message to jens i'm going to be putting it here or here i know jens you are watching this is your message once again guys natote la sana <laughs> thank you both of you for accepting to share your love story with us god bless you so guys to the big question which dating app did they meet on they met on a dating app called meet me she wasn't paying he wasn't paying it is a free dating app they were chatting for free so you can try out meet me who knows we can tell your success story next. Good luck, guys, in your search. Just give it a try. <laughs> so, friends, before I end this video, I thought of sharing with you this also. If you remember Mwansa's story, a Zambian lady who found love on online dating apps with a German guy. You remember that story? It made me cry because it was so, so touching so Zenzo 2 tells me that story really inspired her so much she watched that video so many times i must share my success love story on bella's channel so like i told you right now she's preparing for her visa to go to germany called me and wanted me to connect her with Mwansa because Mwansa is Zambian and is married to a German guy. Wanted some help with the information of visa and everything. And because Mwansa is my closest, closest friend. Yes, we met here on YouTube, but she's such an amazing lady. I really admire her so much. We've been talking. Yes, we chat. So when Zenzo asked me to connect her, I had to ask Mwansa. Mwansa was like, no problem. Oh my God, Bella, you are such an amazing lady. We are from Zambia. You're from Tanzania, but you are here connecting us. This is really good. And I was happy. I was like, yes, I really like to help. And you know, we are Africans. We are sisters we are one yes so i connected them they talked and even their husbands are talking once i told me so i am so so happy to be of a help really very very happy so guys we have come to an end of our today's video thank you so much for watching till now god bless you if you have liked this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this story and learn something watch my other videos too they are super good don't forget to comment below what you think about this video until next time guys i love you so much you're always here in my heart ciao ciao Mwah.